everyone, James here. So today's video is going to be about Halo Reach coming to Xbox One in terms of backwards compatibility. If you go on Xbox.com, you can actually vote for games that you want to come earlier to the Xbox One. And right now, Halo Reach is at number 4 at 41,213 votes. A little over 41,000 people want to see Halo Reach playable on the Xbox One. This makes me so happy because... When, when, when Halo Reach came out, there were so many people out there who just didn't like the game. Same with ODST, they just didn't like it. They thought Halo 1, 2, and 3 were the best games in the entire world, and Reach and ODST and even Wars were ashamed to the series. Not everyone thought that. I thought Reach was amazing. I loved ODST and I loved Halo Wars, but not everyone agreed with me. A lot of people disliked Reach very much. They did not like the Bloom effect. And years later, when they released ODST for the Master Chief Collection, there were so many posts on forums that they wanted to get Halo Reach on the Xbox One. There was so much of a large demand for that. And to me, that really makes me happy. Because I really feel like when Halo Reach came out, not many people really appreciated what the game was. I owe Halo Reach so much. I think Reach is my favorite Halo game just because of the machinima abilities it offered. This game, in my opinion, is still the best game for Machinima for Halo. Halo 4 is nowhere near as good, and Halo 2 Anniversary is pretty good, but I think the one thing that Reach has over Halo 2 Anniversary is the armor customization, and just how you integrate it with the campaign. Halo Reach, the entire game is a sandbox for Machinima. You can use campaign for Machinima. You can use, obviously, custom games and Forge and different armor customizations. It's so easy to mod Halo Reach that you can have all the armor in about five minutes. This game was designed for Machinima. It was insane what Bungie did. And not many games nowadays are doing this. Halo 5, I'm pretty sure, was going to be strictly gameplay only. And they're not really going to support Machinima like Reach did. Halo 4 supported it a little bit, same with Halo 2 Anniversary, but most of it, I think, Reach is untouchable when it comes to that category. To see Halo Reach have such a huge demand to come back to the Xbox really brings... I don't know what to use, like, it just warms my heart because this game is so awesome. It's so underrated, in my opinion, in terms of, like, a Halo game that's awesome. Such a large demand now, many years later. I feel like now people are really starting to appreciate what this game was, along with ODST. The game looks phenomenal. Like, on an Xbox 360 game, the graphics are amazing. So if they ever decided to do, like, a Halo Reach Anniversary or a Halo Reach port and make, like, the graphics updated to 60 frames per second to NDP like they did with the Master Chief Collection, I think that would be awesome. Anyway, that's it for my video. Let me know what you guys think about Halo Reach possibly coming to the Xbox One backwards compatibility. It might come in the next update later this fall, but right now it's at over 41,000 votes. Red Dead Redemption is currently in first place. But it's number four out of all the 360 games on the list. So that's it. Thanks for watching, guys. Let me know your opinions, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out.